Hello everyone, and welcome to Pyanodon's Mods. This is Otaku Showboat, and today we will be discussing lead and silver production through the lead processing chain. If you have been enjoying these tutorial videos thus far, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash otaku showboat, so head on over to leave a follow to be notified when I go live Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You can do all of the social stuff through the links below the video, including supporting Pyanodon's mods development at patreon.com slash pyanodon, and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. I also have this production line for lead posted on my Discord server. The link is in that description. So today, with lead, uh, I will again note this being an updated video. The previous video that exists is what uh, is going to show this chain in action, uh, as well as some of the outdated information in that video that will get updated in this video will be presented there, but just ignore what I say about how to make stuff that in regards to the pre-Pi Alien Life things that have changed since then. There's a lot of obvious changes that have been made to hot air and such since I made that previous point seventeen video, but nothing involving the lead processing, except for one very specific thing towards the end that we'll talk about, uh, has really changed in terms of the overall layout of the, of the build. So you can use that previous video to see the layout of a uh, lead, excuse me, a lead processing uh, setup, uh, as well as all the other processing setups, uh, including the titanium, the titanium one that I just recorded. Uh, so yeah, that that's that's what those old videos, why they still exist at this point, is for those who want to see uh, the processes in action. Uh, not a lot has particularly changed in regards to lead uh, thus far. So, we will start with lead. I will note that lead and silver are intertwined with each other, which is why this is a very long production line. Uh, and we're going to be taking a look at these together. Uh, and we're going to start off like we did last time with titanium. Uh, by looking up the lead processing stages uh, in order. So lead processing, stage one, will unlock the grade one into plates. Grade one into plates, that's all you get access to. And you also get access to the ability to make solder uh, out of lead. So keep in mind that lead is going to be used the most in solder in a regular high game, in particular solder going into rails, if you're using lots of rails, uh, yeah, you're, you're going to need a lot of solder. You're, you're going to need a lot of solder, uh, and you're going to need a lot of lead for various other things across your base. It gets used pretty ubiquitously, and if you are absolutely insane and have decided that you want to use biters, have biters in your game, lead is ammo. Lead, lead is ammo, so it's very, very important for you to have lead. Uh, and it's used a lot in military science, uh, so do bear that in mind going forward. And that's all we have. That's all we have at Red Science. At Green Science, at Green Science, we get access to the processing of our lead grade 1 into grade 2, into grade 3, uh, and then into lead dust, uh, and then into molten from the lead dust, and casting of that molten uh, with hot air. We also get our first access to silver, silver through lead dust through direct casting. We also get access to a few molten solder recipes that use molten tin as well as molten lead, so this is rather important. Uh, as well as an an upgraded uh, plate casting. This is incredibly important. You are absolutely going to be wanting to use the molten recipes. Uh, I will not suggest to you which one of these two that you might want to use. This one that's adding copper plates for the forty for the forty molten, or this one that doesn't use the, the copper for the forty molten. I have not done the math to compare. Oh, this one uses silver and copper. Okay, so this this tin and lead is probably going to be the one that you want to use uh, at this phase of the game. 
because this other one is going to consume silver and you don't really want to be consuming silver through at this point in that amount for solder alone silver has other uses at brain science uh, in particular producing fetal serum for vat brain blue science to get a few key blue science texts that you might want or all of them for that matter as you work towards getting uh dedicated chemical science packs uh, etc at level three is when we get access to the high grade processing setup this has changed since my last video this is the big separation previously in the 0.17 version update that, like the actual video that i made on lead the lead high grade and silver high grade were both produced at the same time from the same recipe and you would have to deal with having both of them together now you get to choose which high grade you make out of the silver lead concentrate you get to choose which one you make and then go down their independent lines from there and that is easier on the logistics if you are say backed up on lead you no longer have to just void lead but so long as you have the infrastructure to support the silver lead concentrate being processed into more silver uh, at that point and vice versa if you're backed up on silver being able to continue to keep making lead uh, and this will be a process that we go over today. You do get access to molten silver at this point, as well as, as well as regular silver plates. Uh, so we'll, we will discuss all of this shenaniganry uh, going into Helmod shortly. And then, of course, at Utility Science, you get access to reduction and centering of both uh, lead and silver. So in the beginning. There was lead. Lead requires you to have acetylene to mine, just like titanium. So lead is not going to be produced in your base until you can make acetylene if you are playing on a standard high map. If you are playing on pi block, you'll have lead significantly earlier than that. You, in fact, don't even need to make acetylene at all for any reason. Uh, mining purposes anyway uh if you're paying with pi block in its current state as of this video being made i i reserve the right to for things to change at some point without uh updating this video again uh so you will absolutely have access to advanced foundries when you get access to the actual lead ore you might not even do this initial casting of ore to plates just be because you'll very much likely have access to do this instead for much, much higher output of plates. Uh, so at Red Science, which you really need to get access to your gasifiers to make the acetylene, that's the main thing there, uh, and the high-pressure furnaces on the lime and such, uh, this will, you will screen it into grade 1. You just simply screen your lead ore into grade 1 and then cast it in foundries into a lot of plates. You likely won't have the capability of having 15. It's possible, but uh, it's, it's a bit of acetylene. Uh, titanium uses more acetylene than lead, so it's easier to get the full yellow belt of lead. Uh, uh, the full amount of acetylene that's needed for the full belt of lead at this point, but I don't really see much of a need for full seven and a half lead plates for a second at red science but uh it's up to you whatever whatever you want whatever you want to do whatever you want to do now from here green science will happen uh, i am skipping over this for a reason uh at green science you will have access to further processing of your grade one you will first use an impact crusher to make it into grade 2, screen that into additional grade 1, as well as grade 3, and that loops all back into grade all grade 3, and that then gets secondarily crushed into lead 
dust that you then will use an electric arc furnace to make into molten and then cast that into additional plates. You also need to use some of this lead dust to cast into silver because you will need to have some amounts of silver uh, in your life. Trust me on this. You will, you will absolutely need silver in your life. Uh, at green science level because you are going to need things like fetal serum uh, and all of the other uses of silver uh, going forward. So you will at most for every 15 lead ore have 0.3 silver if you process all of your lead dust into silver. So yes, 15 ore of lead equals 0.3 silver at green science level. Lead is definitely one of those ores that I would highly suggest, highly suggest mining a lot more of relatively early. This is, this is one of those ones just because of silver requirements that you will want to have a lot of mining of, which is unfortunate because that is a lot of acetylene in a standard pie game. Uh, that you have to spend for this but uh yeah it, it's i would i would say that it's pretty high priority to increase the amount of ore that you are processing on lead re very early on not quite at red science exactly but at green when you get access to the silver recipes now from here there's a lot to talk about. So, as we work our way up into what will eventually be the high-grade uh, casting at Blue Science, at Chemical Science, we're going to go through each of these steps iteratively. So, we're going to start with our first upgrade to Silver the first stopping point of silver that you may or may not want to do. I would probably say you're not going to stop here, but anyway. So from our lead dust, we need to add cyanic acid, which we should know how to make, because you need it to make circuit ones uh, to begin with. Uh, this gets hydroclassified with cyanic into refined lead dust stage one. Note here that this gives you a zinc pulp stage one. The zinc pulp stage one continues on in the chain uh, and does not uh, get you right this works in reverse doesn't it it does not get you into the uh, additional silver it, well it can if you go further down but this is the natural first stopping point here it makes it rather it makes it rather complex because you can further process the uh refined lead dust three as well as further process this here uh this zinc pulp stage one into stage two this pulp stage two into solution stage one and then the solution stage one into uh, plates on top of that. So I guess for the sake of completeness, this step would include refined dust and silver plates just to make use of the pulp. But the question is, why stop here? Why stop here at refined lead dust, right? Why stop at refined lead dust? There's no particular reason. Note that even that if you do process this pulp stage one here that you are going to need soda ash regeneration solution which is ash water and saline and you'll need this z3 reagent which is only used in the lead processing chain uh, and requires phosphorus acid not phosphoric acid not phosphine gas but phosphorus acid that's the first main processing step of phosphate rocks as well as carbon Bonyl sulfide from rayon processing and methanol. It's a lot of it's it's three really painful things, but this is only used for lead processing, and you need as much silver as you can get 
uh, overall. Anyway. So, there's... There's that. There, there's, there's all of that. Know that this isn't even, uh, casting of molten here. This, this is just direct casting of plates without hot air, and it makes you 1.5 for 15 in. This is how awful this particular step is, because what you can do instead... What you can do instead... Note that this is 1.5. You can process your refined lead dust 3. You can process your refined lead dust 3 into solution stage 1 directly. Like, you can, you can make solution stage 1 directly by adding a bit more Z3 reagent and oleochems. So, there you go. And you're going to have to do this anyway if you're going all the way up to high grade. And that gives you 1.8. 1.8 silver plates. It gives you more, and you don't have to deal with hot air. It's it's rather it's rather nice. Now on the lead side of things, lead is only the solution. Stage one as our next step from green science to get uh, into the lead plates. This is a molten casting, which does have the hot air, which is a 25% bonus uh, overall. So there's there's that. The next step in silver is going to be our high grade. So here's our two st setups for high grade. This is identical to get into high grade. So from our solution one, from our flotationed solution one totaled, uh, we will add lime in a hydrocyclone to get solution two and three. Uh, the solution two will get thickened into three additional three. That three gets filtered into the silver lead concentrate and then solid separated into high grade or lead. Uh, high grade silver or lead. Uh, and from here, the silver would make 4.8 plates out of 15 if processing all of it. Note oxygen in a basic oxygen furnace here versus electric arc furnace with graphite and borax into a few plates. 25.4 not the highest output ever for high grade processing from 15 or but also you don't really need that high of volume of lead depending on what you're doing so you'll need you'll need more silver you'll be starved for silver more than lead overall so keep all of that in mind and then of course as we get into reduction the standard reduction with diesel and sodium sulfate is not where you'll stop at you will instead go up to sintering by adding lime and syngas and a solid fuel uh, to, to vastly increase your output. This gives you 13.6 silver from 15 lead in. Worth considering doing uh, unless you're doing the lead at really high scale of uh, mining specifically for plates. Otherwise, the reduction of the lead plates would get you 50.7 and then centered into 65.9 in the identical uh, processes here as silver. It is identical on inputs. It's just either lead or silver uh, with the final outputs being slightly different. A lot different because silver is rarer. And with all of that being said, it is time to end off this lead processing video. It went by rather quick because not a lot has particularly changed here. Note that you'll want to have molten of both of these for the various alloys that get used. You will use a lot of silver for a very specific thing later, a silver zinc alloy that is used in really high volumes in the late game. So you are going to want a lot of this as high as you can go in the processing chain for lead in particular. This is one of the ones that I would say that going into high grade is mandatory as well as going into reduction and centering if you went and when you get into utility science unless you're using a bunch of productivity stuff. So with that, thank you all for watching. If you've been enjoying this series thus far, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash otakushjoboat, so be sure to head on over there to leave a follow to be notified when I go live on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. 
you can do all of the social stuff through the links below the video, including getting access to this production line through my Discord server, which is linked below. You can, uh, of course, support Pyandon's monster development at patreon.com slash Pyandon and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. I will be back with another one soon. I will see you all then. Thank mm -hmm. you.